from our opening fight, work my way up when it comes to talking with the fighters. I'm going to look over to my left from Ireland, Jono Carroll. Jono, you were supposed to match up against Andy Vincent in June. Obviously, a couple of delays, but now we are finally here. How excited are you to be able to finally step inside the ring against your adversary on Saturday night? Yeah, I'm very excited. This has been a long time coming. Um, the last camp I had was I sacrificed a lot just to be there, you know. I had a baby in hospital at the time. And uh, I had a premature baby, strong little man. Um, but I had to leave camp for five weeks to go over to Mexico. Grind, sacrifice. But the thing is with boxing, it's uh, if, you don't sac if you don't make the sacrifices, then your dreams will become the sacrifices. You know what I mean? So I made those sacrifices. I worked extremely hard. I was very, very disappointed, I have to say, when uh, I came to Miami last time and the show got cancelled four days out at the point. Serious grafting, sacrificed a lot just to be there. Um, very frustrating time, but at the same time, this is boxing. You know, it's a, the one thing what this sport does is always be prepared for the unexpected, you know, because many things has happened in the fight game in general, UFC, everything, you know. So um, I'm just really excited now that the time is finally here. Like I can show, skate, I can show my skills to the world, especially on such a massive platform. Sitting here with a lot of legends, like I've been watching all these men growing up as a kid, you know what I mean? So this is like a dream come true. Just to be on stage with, with men like this, um, my hat goes off to all the men here, respect. And uh, yeah, I'm just looking forward to getting it on, really am. Andy, for you being able to sit next to the individuals that you are on the dais with to open up the night, how much do you want to go out and really make a statement to try to go ahead and get the rest of the world talking about your fight? Because all of these fights are extremely compelling and have unique storylines. Nah, well, respect to all the champs, all the fighters right here lined up. No disrespect to any of the champs here, but I got to do my job and take care of business. So, yeah, it's a great opportunity. I am happy to be here, but at the end of the day, I got to come to do my job. Then I'll be able to sit back and... and you know, see their fights. But, um, you know, hearing what Carol had to say, all I have to say is it was supposed to be the fight the last time around. And you knew that fight was going to happen sooner or later. None of us knew when. And boxing's like that, like you said. It's very unexpected. But you ought to tell them how was your time after that. It looks like you had a good time. I was in the gym. I was grinding every day. And it's funny because you come with a different energy this time. It's way different than last time because you're right. Last time you had a five-week camp, you were ready. I could feel it. I saw your energy, but your energy is fucking different now. And this is going to be the difference, bro, the consistency. And that's the difference between any fighter is how consistent can you be when no one's watching, when no fight's guaranteed. Mate, you don't all got I can it, say bro. Is, you don't got on. it. And you're getting touched little, by it. Shush there, little man. I'll go over and give you a slap. All I can say is... The yeah, night no one this got slap, called unless you off. Touch me. The, the night this fight got called off, I was out jogging. I was out training. I stay training 24-7. This isn't, this isn't a job but I get a call on five weeks like I did this time. Oh, be ready in five weeks. I'm a 24-hour committed professional, Tell them mate. how that family vacation was, bro. What family vacation? How that family time was. Tell them, bro. I Don't live, tell them about the week job. Mate, I, I live in my life. bed. I live on a family vacation all day, and my life is a family vacation. How about the jet skis and the barbecue? How was all the that jet shit? jet skis and the barbecue was great, mate. Living right, life. Bro. Living bro, life I like a all king. My, all my boys follow you, bro. They like the motherfucking so. king I am, bro. I live life every day. Every day above ground is a good day for me. That's so, all I'm saying. Andy... So, are you saying that he's not taking training seriously? Is, is that what you're saying pretty much to, no, you know, no, summarize no, what you're saying? No. Look, look, I come to every fight the same, whether it be Carol, whether it be someone else, right? I, I, I really got to prepare like this is, this is the guy, right? I always prepare like that. My dad ingrained that me when I was little, like, it don't matter if you're fighting this guy from Mexico, like, you got to get ready like it's the last flight. But why? Because you don't play boxing. And he told me that when I first joined the sport. I know Carol's ready. I know he's coming to fight. But I just know I'm the better fighter. I Like, like, like skill set wise, mind wise, mature wise. Like everything I do is better. 
I look better than him. I am better than him. Like, like my <laughs> trainer's better than him. I know my trainer's more. Except dedicated your bird, than his, man. Your like, bird definitely ain't better than my bird. Look at that bird, saying? man. Like, you look he, like that nineties porn star. That's what you look like. Then that's the thing. He brings up jokes, like try to throw me off. Like I'm so focused. Like none of this shit bothers me. I love this shit. I love fighting. I fought in the streets. I did this for no money. Like that's how I started. For one and oh, I sold tickets to fight on shows. Mate, ask any uh, boxer, no, UFC, we're, we've all done there. We've all hey, been there. Hey, you I guys. Fought, I fought and sold tickets. Let, my manager passed away. I had to keep going. I held down jobs throughout my whole career. On Saturday night, when you take on Andy Vincent's on Triller Fight Club pay-per-view, how's the fight going down? Yeah, I think it's going to be a very technical fight for the first few rounds. Uh, we're both at the stage in our career where we're not kids anymore. We both have a good understanding of the game. So it's going to be a very technical fight, chess match, as boxing at its finest always is. And then I, I see the fight progressing. It's going, to, it's going to get rough and rugged in there at times. It's going, to be, um, it's going to be exciting night. I'm really looking forward to it. But I, I, I half fancy a, a little K, TKO maybe because I'm not a big puncher. But maybe a TKO victory, six or seven. Six or seven TKO According to Joan O'Carroll, Andy Venson, Saturday night to open up the pay-per-view. 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific time, Triller Fight Club here in South Florida. How is your fight going to unfold against Joan O'Carroll? Um, it just depends how he's going to take the punch, how he's going to take the power. I think a lot of people overweight my power, but um, um, I've been in a lot of fights where people tend to fight me differently once they feel my power. Uh, for sure, the fight will be competitive. I mean, I'm obviously fighting a guy who has experience. You know, I'm not I'm not going in there with someone who doesn't know what they're doing. Uh, but it's all going to be based on, um, for sure, a technical fight. On my end, um, I ex I'm, I'm going to be a different fighter. You know, I know a lot of people look at my last fights. I've been with my new trainer for 14 months in the gym with no guarantee of a fight, five days a week for 14 months. So... It's totally going to be a different Andy than you've seen before, a mixture of everything. Um, and I don't know. I'm not going to I'm not going to call a knockout just because it all depends how he takes a punch. Every fighter takes a punch differently. Uh, but for sure, yeah, the first the first rounds are going to be competitive, just like in any fight. And just like in any fight, the separation shows after the fourth, fifth rounds, who's the elite fighter and who's the better fighter. And that's how it's going to go down. If it ends sooner, it ends sooner. If it ends later, it ends on my end. Obviously, technically, conditioning, all that's going to come into play.